paired it with these like really nice comfortable white shorts. Like, I'm gonna be bringing on the bling. So yeah, I'm just headed out to Starbucks. So, I mean, just a really cute little bag here. <laughs> wow, so happy in the morning. Welcome back to my channel and happy Fashion Friday. I am here with a different sort of video for Fashion Friday. I'm really excited about it. It's actually a day in the life and I have not done one of these on this channel in a while. Um, so I wanted to do that today. It's going to be a little different. I'm going to be doing it vlog style. So if you guys are following me on my vlog channel, you know what's coming. So I know these videos are super popular and just very like everyday and realistic and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, since I don't really do these sorts of videos on this channel that often since this channel is more beauty and fashion so if you want to see more of this on this channel let me know in the comments down below and the other reason why I wanted to do this video too I think you guys get so used to seeing my like makeup and fashion videos that you sometimes forget about the other world that I live in which is being a mom um, so I really love when I feature the girls on this channel and I know you guys really love it too um, so there's gonna be a lot of that because they are a big part of my everyday uh, so you'll see that in today's video which I hope you enjoy and everything else that I'm going to be doing. So happy in the morning. So I'm actually just in my washroom right now. I'm about to do my skincare and I just changed, I just showered. Um, I'm actually wearing like a bathing suit top today because it's gonna be really warm. And we're probably gonna go outside today. And then I just paired it with these like really nice comfortable white shorts. Uh, I shouldn't be wearing white right now because I have my period, but <laughs> I'm gonna be careful. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you like where I have my skincare. I've showed this in a ton of my vlogs before, um, but I don't really show it on this channel that much. So this is where I have all my skincare. And I always start off with my Tatcha cleanser. This one right here, the deep cleanse. And if you have sensitive skin like me, this is perfect. It's really nice. It also um, exfoliates and it has like little beads in it, but it's not harsh on the skin. And I just love using this morning and night. And I'm not using that much right now because I'm actually almost out. So, gotta save it until I go to Sephora. <laughs> My skin always feels so good after I use it, you guys. So after I go in with my cleanser, I go in with my fresh toner, this one. And then I also go in with my fresh deep hydration face cream. So I've used this a lot of times and I love it. This is probably like my fifth time buying it. So this right here is like a hidden gem. I love this so much and it's actually an eye concentrate. So I put this on and then I go on with my eye cream after and it really, really does help those dark circles if you have any. And then right here, I just go in with the rose eye cream after that. Okay, cotton pads. 
If you're wondering what the girls are doing, they are with Ryan downstairs right now. We're about to do our second feeding, which is their breakfast. So they're, they have their bottle of milk and then they have their oatmeal. They love their oatmeal too. Oh, I love this cream, it's so nice. I've been really wanting to get a facial before my brother's wedding, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time. It's coming up in like two weeks now, it's so crazy. So that's what I do. I just tap it in with my ring finger, take it up to the brow. I'm getting with the eye cream. This is really nice. I'm like almost out of it. I just thought I would do a day in the life because I haven't done one in a little bit and I have some organizing to do in my closet area today. And I just thought I would do that with you. I've been really wanting to turn my beauty room space into a closet as well and have take good use out of those drawers because my closet is a disaster right now in our master bedroom and I've just lost space with my clothes so it just makes sense to put it in the drawers. So I'm gonna do that today. There we go, that is my little skincare routine for today. are so cute on you mommy got those from carter's from carter's yeah oh i see two little teethies two little teethies just like sissy let's go get her i love the orabel high tables these are probably one of my favorite purchases you guys these are amazing look how tiny you look in there <laughs> best oh she's looking for her sissy i'm going to get her i have to change her diaper if she had a poo like you it's gonna be messy it's gonna be messy. But yeah, Orabel high tables, you guys, these are awesome. I will link them down below for you. Oh, and also these right here, the Porta Plays, same brand. So these are actually by Orabel as well. Um, now, I'm not sure if these come in other colors. I just know of the gray ones, but they love these. And then this one is the Minnie Mouse. It just says bright stars, but you guys have seen this jumper. They're in it all the time. And the reason why I didn't get two is because it's so massive. And I knew that we had the Porta Plays, so it just made sense to get one, which it's fine. We have them both in these playing and they love it. And then the other thing that we love is this um, little baby care center so I got this on Amazon I'll leave a link down below for you guys it's awesome and I love it like they love playing in here and then we also have I get asked about this mat all the time this is the um, so this is the one from bye bye baby and it's the cloud mat so I'll leave a link down below for that because I get questions all the time and then after I feed the girls I will talk about like which toys they love and what toys are their favorites Is that yummy, Mia? <laughs> so I get questions on this a lot on Instagram. So these two little chairs right here are actually from HomeSense. And I think you can still get them from like HomeSense, Home Goods, and stuff. I see them all the time when I'm there. So um, that's where those are from. I get asked all the time. The other thing I get asked every day is this mat right here you guys so i got this from bye bye baby i will leave a link down below on the cloud mat it's literally called cloud mat um so even if you google that you'll find it and bye bye baby will pop up 
So this right here is awesome on my skin. I wear this every morning and um, I think I got it at Shoppers, but I was shocked on like how amazing this is. It's not very thick, which I like. Behind that, we have a lot of, we tried the Aveeno Baby Sunscreen. I didn't like it as much. I like this one more. So we've kind of switched over to that. And then this is my favorite baby lotion. So the Calming Comfort Lotion. This is really nice. It smells like lavender and vanilla and it's just a really nice cream. I honestly love Aveeno for baby products. And then these are what we live by, you guys. So if your babies are teething, now I think the US and Canada have different ones, but it's both Camellia. Um, but this is the ones we have in Canada, so this is what they look like, I just wanna show you. Um, so if they are teething, this is what you can give to them, or if they're having discomfort or anything like that, diarrhea, painful gums, restlessness, it says so if they can't sleep, this really, really helps. Um, so we've there's also no sugar no preservatives or anything um, So you can get this off Amazon. I'll leave a link down below on the ones that we bought but Liz actually recommended this to us So my good friend Liz that also has a baby Sebastian she's on YouTube as well and Yeah, that is everything back there so these right here are really nice because you can easily clean them. I got these off Nordstrom, so they're their little bibs. I also like the swans. I think they're so cute. How cute is this? So we got this in the mail the other day. They were actually little bunnies too for me and Sophia. And then strong women make waves. This is so cute. Little mermaid book for mama. And then this sweet little card here from Ryan's niece and nephew. Me and Sophia's little cousins. Really sweet. So, so cute. So I'm about to get ready and I just wanted to quickly show you guys because my beauty space is actually very clean today. I'm actually really happy with this. It's very, very clean. We do like a clean with me. I did like a full 30 minute. Uh, so everything is organized and clean. I've got baby girl sleeping right now. So I just thought I would get ready really quick. I've got all of my brushes right here. I am probably only gonna do like foundation today. Not a whole lot. Maybe like a little bit of mascara too but um, nothing too crazy. I think we're staying home for majority of the day. We're probably gonna get the girls in the pool later and then um, do a barbecue. Honestly though, I just want to say this monitor is like one of the best monitors. We've had a few and this one just works best, um, especially if you have twins because it has the double screen on here, but I love this thing. It's so clear and so easy to see and it's just been really working for us and we only just noticed this not long ago. So we started sitting it up, which is, which is great. And I obviously want to be as helpful as possible with products that we recommend and just things that have worked for us. Obviously not every baby is the same, like some things that may work for me and Sophia may not work for yours um, but I love recommending products because I mean I definitely watch youtubers I watch vlogs to see like um, you know what what's coming next for when they get to like one years old what we might need and things like that so I find that very helpful um, where's my beauty sponge found it okay so I also of course did want to just mention to you guys because I'm sure you've noticed you know I haven't been as frequent with the vlogs and Things have just been really busy over here. Like obviously I have my main channel, I have the girls and they're 24 seven and it's just a lot of work. And I absolutely love making vlogs. Like I think vlogs are so fun and you can be so creative. They're very honest, real. And I just love, I've always loved vlogs, but now that I don't have comments, it honestly, you guys have changed things so much because I'm just not as motivated, I think, to, getting them up and it just i mean the whole reason why i had my vlog channel is obviously so i could communicate and talk to you guys the comments were like the biggest thing that i had on my channel um so obviously my views are still there i'm still getting people viewing my channel but there's no comments so it's just really it's just been kind of hard i guess and like i said there's so many youtubers that i watch and the same thing like they don't have comments so um, I mean, it's good that I have two channels because there are some where that is their only channel and they have no comments. So I still have like a lot of you that go onto my main channel and leave comments there, which is really sweet or on my Instagram because you take so much time and effort to put up these vlogs and then like no comments is just, it sucks. But the thing that I don't understand if it's because of infants and babies, like why are there so many large baby channels that like have had no effect on losing their comments? And it's just strange to me. Like, I don't know how YouTube did that because there's obviously like the Ace family and like even, you know, there's a ton of uh, family vlogs out there that I watch that, you know, they weren't affected at all. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's obviously because their channels are probably so big, right? But I don't know. 
closet and then also i want to just have more clothes in here and like make my shelves back here more of a a closet area so anyways that's what i'm doing today and i just thought that'd be really fun i know you guys really enjoyed the last one i put up on the makeup so if you want to watch that it is 30 minutes long it's a long video oh so if you don't follow me on instagram or my main channel i am coming out with a new product and i'm really excited i have it i have a few in my room right now so i have the photo shoot and the video launch next week I'm really excited to start sharing more of what is coming i bought this chanel powder i did like a full haul and i love it it's the lee beige powder i think it's gonna be a really nice like travel um powder as well so yeah i've been loving this and speaking of travel so i'm gonna have a travel series on my main channel coming soon and i told you i have a new launch coming at the end of this month and i released what that was on my instagram also on my main channel so i have a travel jewelry case coming out you guys and i'm so excited and it's kind of funny i like over a year ago like ryan for the longest time has always made fun of me whenever i travel because i'll grab t like toilet paper I'll lay it down in the washroom and I'll put like my earrings, my wedding ring, all that good stuff, all of my jewelry on there. And it's just so funny. I literally have for the longest time always complained about not having something to put my jewelry in when traveling. And then it got me thinking, I'm like, why don't I just come up with something new and different and something that's not beauty related because of my fashion Friday videos. You guys know I love beauty. I also love fashion. So it just made sense. And I'm so excited for this new launch and like I know it's something so different and you know a lot of people I think thought like oh she's gonna come out with merch I got a lot of that but no not merch you guys I love ex I love small accessories I love traveling I love having things that are easy to travel with and it just makes a lot of sense so I will have a whole travel series coming up but I just want to let you guys know on that new launch and I cannot wait I'm so excited I'm sorry if I'm talking fast I have to get ready really quickly now and then film my next video so it's kind of a go 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 also an update on my hair so i did a video what you don't know about me on my main channel which i think i've told you guys on this channel that i have alopecia so if you want to watch that video i'll link it down below but i disclosed that i do have alopecia and i showed you what it looked like and i have to say now i'm really happy it's growing back and slowly of course it's growing back slowly but the spots are starting to grow back in so i'm really happy about that and honestly alopecia has always been so much on my stress levels and happiness so when i'm happy i'm not stressed it grows back magically i'm not even joking i'm not like it just magically grows back even ryan will look at the spots and be like whoa like your hair is like fully grown in now so it's i find it so crazy how that happens and i haven't been fully consistent with my um steroid spray but i've been pretty consistent with it and i try to do it it's supposed to, you're supposed to do it twice a day i've been doing it like once to almost twice a day but it's really like i guess it takes a lot of time to do because you have to be very careful when spraying it i use gloves so i don't get it on my skin or you know i don't get it on the girls anyways also to update you guys we leave in like two weeks to my brother's wedding and it's in a soy use so we're taking the girls. I'm also bringing Ryan's mom. It's going to be a really nice trip and I'm really excited. Their first wedding and it's at like a beautiful winery. It's all wineries up there. So it'll, it'll be so nice. And uh, plane situation is not as long. I'm really happy about that. So it's two planes and then we drive for about an hour, which is not as bad because it was going to be three planes and like layovers. And I'm like, I can't do that with two babies at the airport. It's just madness. So I am doing i think it's three and a half hours for the first plane and then one hour for the second so not as bad and it shouldn't be as bad now that we have ryan's mom coming so she can help us out and she's gonna sit next to ryan then i think i'm in the row ahead of them since we can't sit together okay so we are in a different room we're in my master bedroom right now this is currently what my closet looks like it's crazy it's madness things are just everywhere uh this side is not too bad but it's still pretty disorganized but i'm gonna bring all of the outfits i have been wearing this summer and a lot of floral a lot of dresses some dresses i've never worn before um there's a whole lot of different stuff that i have in this closet here and i just want to get everything organized with you 
So to show you what I do have, I have this top rack that does not really get used and I definitely want to have a different sort of system going on in here, which I will look at. But for now, I'm going to bring all the outfits that I've been wearing, including shoes, and we're going to bring that all into my beauty space and go from there. Also, you guys, this summer I've been wearing shorts so much, especially denim, so I'm going to bring all of these. I think these will fit great into uh, the wardrobe shelves that I have in there. So this is also a pair that I wear. I have a ton. Okay. Pile number one. Okay, so I just brought over a ton of clothes. I also just got my Myers because I'm going to clean these out really quickly. Um, so I've got one, two three drawers are empty and they go far back so I can actually fit a lot of clothes in here I'm really excited I could probably grab more clothes so I'm gonna fold them with you guys after but first I'm gonna give them a nice wipe So the next drawer here, this is going to be like mainly dresses and then on the top I'm going to put like tank tops and everything like that. So in this one here, um, I just have like a lot of little rompers. So like this. I love floral, I love lace, so I have a lot of those styled ones. And I'm sure I can fit a ton in here because these drawers are so big. Um, this little romper. I actually love having everything laid out and like folded over sometimes having them hung. I think it just looks that much better and organized. <music> So in the bottom drawer, I'm actually going to put like jeans and then jean shorts. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been wearing all summer is like jean shorts and also like shorts like this, high-waisted ones. So I'm going to just fold these and put them in here. Just put the shorts all on one side and then my jeans. The only jeans I have are actually white jeans that I'm going to be putting in here. And I do have a few pairs of leggings just from like Lululemon that I wear all the time. Um, so... And then these ones here are the ones that I've been wearing a lot. These are actually from Guess. I got these a few years ago and I wear them all the time. Okay, so I wanted to quickly show you guys what this looks like. And I didn't finish all the drawers, but I finished a majority. So this one down here has all my shorts. And it's just so easy for me to grab now when I'm getting ready in this room and makes so much more sense. I've got some pants on that side. There's nothing in this drawer, so I can actually get, uh, once I do some laundry, all of my clean clothes in there. And then in this one here, we just have all my rompers, which I'm wearing a lot this summer. And bathing suit on the side there. And yeah, that was it. And I'm really happy that I did that because it just makes so much more sense for my clothes to be in here now. And then I can just fully get ready in here. And then in this top drawer, I still have like all my Ipsy bags in here. I'm not going to take this drawer out and move things until I uh, fill that one since that one's still empty. But I'm really happy about that. And I just think it makes so much more sense having some more clothes in here uh, besides the ones that I have out for display, which is this area here. And then also right over there, which I love that little clothing rack and like my shoes are over there. And it's really easy for me to do like outfit shots and stuff in here. So yeah, I'm very happy that I did that. Also, I was thinking of doing like a wallet collection video or I could do my Chanel collection. So let me know if you want to see either or. Um, I do have wallets on the other side as well. And wallets are probably one of my favorite thing ever, you guys. Oh, this is empty because that's where I actually had my jewelry case. So that was sitting there earlier. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing like a really detailed video on that and like showing comparisons between wallets and which ones are my favorite. So if that is something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. The other bag I feel like should have been in that video that I did, like my regrets video, is this bag right here. I never wear this bag and I think it's a beautiful bag. Like this is by far, I think, one of my favorite designs Louis Vuitton has ever done. Um, but I just don't wear it a lot and the handle part is like so small and I really, I think I've really grown to love like crossbody bags or bags where you have the option to do that, which is like a lot of my Chanel bags, the Gucci you can do as well. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, I never wear this bag. 
and it's I should have got the smaller one because this one's the large one I, I should have got like the little baby one so you guys how gorgeous is this print right here so this was actually made from my friend Vaini and I will link her Instagram down below she makes these they are so pretty and this one says SL Miss Glam and it's got all the little flowers on there I actually have all the flowers to like the larger ones in the girls nursery um, but that's just such an amazing idea I still want to hang it at some point I think it'll look really pretty up that is kind of where I was thinking of hanging some photos up. I still have to hang like my YouTube plaques up there. I just don't know where to put them. And because I really love the painting, I think it's such like it looks so nice and clean just on its own. So it's really hard to decide like if I actually want to hang pictures in here. Um, but I also want to at the same time because I have so many pictures to hang. Also, I just want to quickly show this. This bag here is actually the one that I'm going to take out today and it is my favorite right now. And it's the wallet on chain. It's the smaller one that came out with the Chanel iridescent collection. So I'm going to show you what this looks like on really quick. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. I think it's perfect with like the top. It goes really nice. It's like the same shade of pink and I love how tiny it is. It's just really small. It's just like a little wallet. Um, so if you're just running errands, this is like the perfect bag. Uh, so I definitely am going to bring this with me. I also get asked all the time on my channel what color my nail polish is, so I'm going to attach the photo here. It's a shellac color. Um, now, I usually, before wearing shellac, I used the color, um, it was OPI Mad About You, so that's also an, a really nice light pink. Light pink if you're going for one that isn't a shellac, but this color is gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just headed out to Starbucks, so I mean, just a really cute little bag here. And I keep seeing that video, everyone's doing it. Uh, my subscribers pick my Starbucks drink, so I keep I keep watching those. I haven't done that video yet though, um, but there's some really interesting drinks, like sugary, sugary drinks that you can order. The only one that I really want to order and try is that pink one. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet. I think it's just called the pink drink, but I might try that because that looks good and it's a very pretty drink. Um, but yeah, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do that video yet. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. But yeah, this is the outfit. Okay, so lastly, I wanted to share a sneak peek of my brush set coming next month. And I told you guys on Instagram I was going to share a sneak peek with you today, which I did if you follow me. You guys, like, I'm going to be bringing on the bling. So, you know that I'm coming out with a jewelry travel case, and if you follow me, you already know that I shared so many photos and sneak peeks on my Instagram. I also shared it in my last video, but I cannot wait. I'm super excited. I have them right here. I have a big photo shoot next week, which I cannot wait for, and video. Um, but the new brushes are right here, and I just thought it goes so hand in hand together, bling and bling. Uh, so yeah, those are coming, and I cannot wait for you guys to get these. They are just so beautiful in person. I cannot even explain to you how pink and how gorgeous rose gold. They are just heaven. They are going to look so good on your guys' vanity in your beauty rooms. And I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited for this new launch. The other thing I was thinking of doing is a behind the scenes video vlog for you guys. Um, for when I have all of my um, photo shoot and also my video videographer photographer they're gonna be here next week so if you want to see like a video behind the scenes on that and like what goes into it um when launching a new product and kind of like more of the i guess business and like marketing sides of things let me know if you want to see a video on that i know very different um so i don't even, i don't even know if that would go on like a monday or friday's video maybe like a monday i thought it'd be nice for you guys to know like if you were thinking of starting your own brand like what goes into it um but yeah also, before I go, I wanted to quickly show you this. I just bought this from Sephora, the Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. This stuff is so amazing, you guys. It's a face mist, and it's so refreshing. I spray it on in the mornings, and it's just, oh my goodness. I This is like one of my summer holy grails, and it's super hydrating at the same time. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I've always loved fresh. You saw that a lot of my skincare is fresh, and I love this. And then for Monday's video, I was thinking of doing a Q&A with you guys, but like a get ready with me. Um, I've been wanting to do my favorite summer glowy look and it's something that I've been doing a lot this week and I really love it right now. There's some like bronzy products I've tried out and new products. So let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, just leave it in the comments or you can leave it on my Instagram as well. So I know this style of video on my channel is so different than what you guys are used to. Um, if you want to see vlogs maybe like once a month on this channel, then let me know in the comments down below. I always like switching it up just a little bit and you know I love making vlogs. So let me know your thoughts down below. 
happy about this i'm so happy that i did a clean with me for the entire week of monday and friday videos but yeah next week also will be awesome and i cannot wait to share with you more content more videos thank you guys for being subscribed and watching today's video i will see you guys on makeup monday